there was a tragedy in Kerrville, Texas, with the floods where the Guadalupe River, which is normally it's got one foot of water in it, and it rose to 34 feet in just a, a matter of hours. And it was a tragedy. You know, over 95 people died and counting. Again, in the aftermath of this, drones were doing all kinds of great things. You know, they're mapping out um, areas for the for first responders and rescue personnel so they can find out what's 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 passable what's good what's you know where can they go where can't they go um search and rescue finding people finding animals finding livestock that survived uh one thermal drone was able to find a family that was trapped in their attic as the water's rising and they were able to pinpoint them they got the thermal print through the roof of the people in the attic and and first responders were able to get their rescuers and rescue them and save them um so lots of benefits but there were also, people that were flying without permission, without authorization, and they, one of them had a collision with an aircraft, a rescue aircraft, which has now grand, grounded that aircraft. You know, we'll you know, we'll see what the ramifications of that are. The whole point of this is just this is highly regulated. You need to be respectful of the rules and and understand how to use them. And the great news is, we've got this amazing technology, so it's easier than ever to check. You don't have to call ATC. And, and find out what's going on, you can actually just pull up apps and get all this information.